So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will talk about JE Mains August attempt that, that is 26th August shift 1 and shift 2 analysis uh, as you all as you all know the 26th, uh, 26th shift 1 and shift 2 has ended now. So I am here with the analysis of the paper, the detail analysis, short analysis I have already provided you for both the shifts. So now I will provide you the detail analysis of both the shifts and I will also provide you the most important thing that is the expected marks versus percentile particularly for this two shift and I will also talk about the expected cut off category wise for J advanced examination that is how much marks you should at least get in this uh, two shifts separately I will provide uh, you to, get to be eligible for the J advanced examination so so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update in future also about J main J advanced and other entrance exam other counseling also in this channel only so please try to subscribe important information uh, for all of you because the counseling is the most important thing that you have to do now after the examination you have done the two years of hard work to get this marks percentile at rank and your parents is ready to pay the fee but ultimately it is the counseling that will provide you the seat in the college so you have to do the counseling very carefully and it required experience so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box but if you need counseling guidance then only because for that you have to register with me then i will i will guide you for all the counseling that you will do this year so this is a very important information if you need counseling guidance then uh, you can you can use my insta or whatsapp so that i can provide you the counseling guidance you have to register with me by paying some negligible amount then i will take uh, take full responsibility of your counseling and i will provide you the best out of your rank for sure so let's start this video so here is the august 26 shift 1 analysis first i will talk about shift 1 analysis then i will talk about the shift 2 analysis first point about a shift 1 paper is it was a typical j means paper which has all the properties of a j means paper so if you talk about math especially it was moderate and lengthy as expected in the previous attempt of j also math was moderate and lengthy that is time taking now if you talk about the question, the questions, there was 8 questions that is considered to be easy, moderate, 12 question, hard, 8 question and the most uh, mostly the questions were asked from calculus, 3D vector, coordinate geometry and matrices determinant also in the uh, in the first shift of the paper. Now if you talk about physics, it was moderate but tricky, some questions were tricky. If you talk about the questions, then there was 10 easy questions, 14 moderate questions and 6 hard questions and, and the more number of questions were asked from modern physics, mechanics. Modern physics is the most important topic that you should look if your shift is next. So next is chemistry was easiest and theory based. Theory, uh, theory based means NCRT based as expected. So chemistry was the easiest among all. So there was 12 easy question, 13 moderate question and 5 uh, hard question. And it was uniformly distributed. That is, uh, that is question we are asked from organic, inorganic and uh, physical chemistry also. So overall paper was moderate again as I have got the so many feedback from the students. So overall paper was moderate. So now if you talk about 26th August shift 2 analysis. So the difficulty of this shift was also similar to the first shift. Uh, math was moderate and lengthy as expected and easy question were 10, moderate 11, hard 9. More question were asked from permutation combination, probability, 3D vector and, and matrices determinant. Uh, if you talk about physics, it was, it was moderate and uh, it, it has 9 easy question, 12 moderate question, 9 hard question and more question were asked again from uh, modern physics, current electricity, semiconductor, communication system. So these are the topic that you should look if you are looking for easy questions. Next is chemistry was easiest and theory based again and uh, the number of uh, easy question were 12, moderate question were 13 and hard was 5 and it was inorganic based. If you talk about the overall paper analysis it was again moderate so there are, there was not so much difference in the difficulty level of the shift 1 and shift 2 and it will it will have effect on the marks versus percentile also. Now I will talk about the expected cut off marks for the J advance category wise. So. So before going forward for this video once more I would like to advise you that do your counseling very carefully because I have seen in previous year many students even after getting a good score in the GE they didn't able to get the best out of their rank because they have done the mistake in the in the counseling so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number but only if you need counseling guidance because for that you have to register with me if you want to ask a single question you can use the comment section. So let's continue this video. So for general, if your exam was in shift 1, then you should have at least 118 plus marks to be eligible for the J advanced examination. And for shift 2, it was 120. And for AWS, 86 plus uh, for shift 1 and 88 plus for shift 2. OBC, 88 at 90. And SC, 55, 57. 
and ST4547. So there was not so much difference in the difficulty level, but the the chemistry paper of the shift one was a bit tricky. This is the expected cutoff marks for the JEE advanced examination only for these two shift. And similarly, I will provide you the video for next uh, the uh, next day of the examination also similar to this video that is the analysis plus uh, marks versus percentile and cutoff marks for the JEE advanced also. So now let's talk about the marks versus percentile expected. That is the most important thing because the student are looking for this. Here I will provide you shift one and shift two both percentiles. So all type of a student can watch this video. So for 99.9200 percentile for shift one 263 plus marks will be required and for shift two 266 plus. So now I will discuss shift one only. You can check shift two sideways by pausing this video. And for uh, for 99.8 to 99.9 your uh, your marks would be 250 plus. And for 99.6 to 99.8, your marks would be 9, uh, 245 plus. And for 99.4 to 99.6, your marks would be 235 plus. And for 99. Uh, and for 99 to 99.4, your marks would be 220 plus. There might be a slight variation in the original result, but I don't think very much because a similar I, I had provided in previous uh, previous attempt of the examination also, and that was almost correct after the result. So you can really trust the, the, uh, this data, and uh, you can estimate how much percentile you are going to get in this uh, in this uh, attempt of J exam. So 98.5 to 99, 208 plus marks will be required, and for 98 to 98.5, your marks would be 197 plus. And one more thing I would like to tell you that it, it is uh, the marks versus percentile is totally not depend on the difficulty level of the paper. It also depends which type of a student are appearing in that shift. Uh, suppose if, if the question is hard but uh, so many good student appear in that shift then uh, even after getting good marks you might not get the best percentile. So it depends on the number, uh, type of a student also and that can't be predicted which type of a student have appeared in, that, uh, in one shift and other shift. So you should uh, consider that thing also and uh, for 97.5 to 98 your percent uh, your marks would be 188 plus and for 97 to 97.5 your marks would be 175 plus but i am only discussing shift one you can check shift two side wise i have listed all those so next some more data for marks versus percentile for 96 to 97 your marks would be 164 plus and for 95 to 96 your marks would be 144 plus 93 to 95 your marks would be 130 plus and for 90 to 93 180 80 to 85 85 to 90 106 80 to 85 96 and for 75 to 80 85 and for 70 to 75 78 plus 60 to 70 72 plus and for 50 to 60 55 plus and for 40 to 50 your marks would be 43 plus so i have discussed all those th all the thing related to shift 1 and shift 2 that is the detailed analysis of the paper of shift 1 shift 2 marks versus percentile of shift 1 shift 2 expected marks for the j advanced examination that you should at least a score category wise i have discussed so i hope you will find this video very useful and it will it will help you to estimate yourself how much percentile you are going to get and whether you are you will be eligible for the j advanced exam or not so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe this channel and one more time i would like to advise you take the guidance of any experienced person for the counseling because that is the most important thing you have done the two years of hard work to get this marks percentile or rank but it is ultimately the counseling that will provide you the seed so be careful about that once you do mistake you might regret later so so you can contact me if you want the counseling guidance then only because for that you have to register with me by paying some amount then i will guide you for all the counseling that you will do this year so that you can get the best out of your rank so thanks for watching this video please